नमस्कार वेलकम टू टू डेज क्लास टूडे वी शेल डिस्कस चैप्टर फोर्टीन ऑफ द डिस्टेंट विंडो लेटस फाइंड आउट व्हाट सॉर्ट ऑफ ए लाइफ रमोला यूजुअली लीड एंड व्हाट सी एट नाउ आज यू नो रमोला वाज लिविंग अलोन इन अ फ्लैट देयर वाज नोबडी एल्स लिविंग विथ हर she was staying away for from her husband so she would put rice lentils vegetables eggs potatoes all at one go in the cooking cooking pot sprinkle some chili powder and salt and swallow it hot i mean what she ate was not very important for her she wanted to manage somehow that was the most important thing throughout the day she remained busy so in the morning she found a number of household chores to deal with household works to deal with and she hardly found any time to eat a special cooked specially cooked meal she lived alone and to had and had to manage everything single handed there was no end to her daily chores making bed boiling milk or the simple improvised meal that obviously took some time you know this kind of meal which which you know it was not cooked the right way she always find things very difficult to manage even though she was staying alone all alone in that flat she always ran short of time so she just wanted to cook something and fill her stomach that was more important for her filling the stomach with something stuffing the stomach with something that would meet her hunger she found herself a captive in the household now if you are very happy with the kind of life you are leading you don't compare yourself with a captive captive is somebody who is confined to a particular place so she found herself look at the use of words captive shows that she was not happy with the kind of life she was living she found herself a captive chained to the chairs you know different household work she was chained to them just as a captive just as a you know a convict is chained to a bar so that he cannot move freely similarly she found her freedom was gone she had to do a number of things at home the only independence was when she was able to swallow the boiled stuff every day without making any comments without anybody making any comments there was nobody else living in that flat with her so nobody said no no you know this one doesn't taste nice you are giving this food every day uh, i don't like this food please make something different please cook something different so nobody was living with her and so this was the only freedom that she had she was certain that her digestive organs were going to revolt some day you know with the kind of food she was eating she knew it herself that one day or the other she was going to you know spoil she was going to you know she she, she was actually getting a little bit of she was, she was going to face some revolt from the digestive organs they would revolt uh, we can't digest the same type of food every day if she continue too long with that but there was no other way out for her there was no solution no solution was visible for her problems a maid could have solved the problem to a great extent but finding a maid was proving very difficult she had asked her mother to put up an advertisement in the newspaper but for a very long time the ad the advertisement did not produce any fruitful result no domestic helps had applied for a very long time 
so this made her wonder are there any more needy people in this world so what is happening the advertisement was put up in the newspaper but nobody is applying for the post of a maid so what has happened to the needy people aren't there any more needy people in this world here i am desperately looking for some help but where to find one have they all given up working she is wondering she is thinking what has happened to people why nobody is ready to work hmm? so the advertisement has already been published and that was published some time ago but till today nobody has come to meet me ready to work for me ramola blames her husband for having ruined her habits he has ruined my habits and rendered me unfit for domestic chores so you know if you are unhappy with your husband if there is some dissension there is a fight there is some disagreement you easily shift the blame on the husband husband shifts the blame puts the blame on the wife wife puts the blame on the husband so she puts the blame on the husband see she says you know my husband is responsible for my condition if i am not able to cook today it's because of my or i am if i am not able to take care of myself it's because of my husband he has ruined he has destroyed my habits ramola had a great strength of character she didn't wish to give in easily so you know i have told you many times during the discussion that ramola is a feminist character the novelist wants to show that ramola is a type of character who does not give in or surrender when she faces difficulties there are some people who easily surrender before the difficulties problem when problem problems arise when problems come they easily surrender but there are some other people who do not surrender very easily they fight with the problems ramola was that sort of a person so these are two two lines that you can write if you if you are writing a characteristic of ramola you can write that she had a great strength of character she didn't she faced difficulties but she didn't wish to give in or surrender she knew she was having problems she was facing problems but she didn't want to surrender with every passing day she was adding solid ground to standing firmly on her own feet with a, with the passage of time she was cementing her position now when you cement the floor it becomes stronger so she was cementing her position means with every passing day she was strengthening her position so believed that a wife should not follow a husband leave her job follow a husband and spend time with him because following a husband is not the only thing that a wife can do a wife can also have a job and a wife can also live independently so that's why she had started remaining away she had argued in favor of remaining away from her husband but she found this you know domestic chores more annoying it was irritating to have to cook to prepare the vegetables to cook clean the house do the bed endlessly day in and day out so throughout the day you know in the morning hours both in the morning hours and in the evening hours she had to take care of so many things and this was one thing that she did not wish to do this was the reason she was looking for a domestic help especially a female one now that she was staying alone she wanted a domestic help who would be a female she did not consider having a male help in the flat where she lived all by herself all by herself is all alone she knew if she did that 
she would invite all kinds of comments from the neighbors besides she would not feel so comfortable herself that this was quite natural if you are staying alone in a flat you have divorced your husband or if you are staying away not divorced actually if you are staying away from your husband and you ask another male member to stay there even if you say he is a help people are not going to take it positively she found domestic chores a bore a tiresome drudgery dull drudgery is dull and boring task boring work tired some something that tired her mentally physically okay she was staying alone she could have managed with anything but mentally she was affected she was becoming tired mentally hence every night you know she had to do the same thing repeat the same things every day and at night you know in the morning before going to for living for office you know i have already told you what she was eating a mixture of everything then at night bread and milk consisted for dinner ramona desired this kind of independent life to be all on her own why she favored this kind of life so that she could inhale independence live independently that was the reason to be all on her own to live independently to live separately to enjoy independence that was her sole motto motto she wanted to prove that she could take care of herself love one's own self and gloriously blossom out of one soul so these are these are important points to remember about ramola now she was a kind of character who wanted who needed a little bit of independence she wanted to prove that she could take care of her, she could take care of herself she did not need a husband to take care of her that she could love herself she didn't need a family or husband to love her and at the same time facing the diversity uh, facing the difficulties of life the problems of life she could blossom she could she could like just as a a bird blossoms into a flower she could also become a full grown individual she could also find a place for herself in the society her rel relatives viewed this attitude as waywardness some people thought she was very wayward even her mother objected to the plan she had chosen for the path that she had chosen for herself okay you want to be independent but that doesn't mean that you severe all sorts of relationships severe is to you stay away from all kinds of relationships so mother supported her helped her okay this is my daughter it is my job as a mother to see to provide support to my daughter but she didn't support her ways her decisions her mother offered the help of a male domestic help there was one working for her mother sachin but she declined she refused no no ma'am i am i am staying there alone sachin was at the helm of her mother's household sachin was a very prime member very important member member at mother's household so he is working for you working for papa he is taking care of everything there so i can i am living alone i can take care of myself secondly his presence should have raised many an eyebrow many an eyebrow obviously people would be talking about you and they would be talking viciously evil things about you right not good things even if you know the person who works as the domestic help the woman was rather now now one morning sachin arrives with a young lady a good looking one who doesn't look like a domestic help she was attractive looking she wore clean clothes and ramola says the writer says of course 
that she looked as if she belonged to the Bhadralok class. Uh, neatly dressed, nicely dressed. When Ramula asked how she came to know about the vacancy, she took out a clipping of the newspaper in which the advertisement was published. Mom, I read this newspaper advertisement and so I have come here. On Ramula's asking, she started reading it and she was educated also. The domestic help, help was educated. She read it slowly and carefully. So she was not highly educated, but she knew to read. Now, why Ramula preferred a younger servant? Couldn't she have managed with an old lady? She didn't want an old woman hovering over her all the time, moving around her, roaming around her all the time. You know, when you have a when you have an elderly woman as a domestic help, she behaves as if she is your guardian. She 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 talks in a dominating way, in a fatherly way or in a motherly way. See, she never works like a domestic help. If the woman was younger, on the other hand, she could dress up neatly with all her discarded clothes, whatever clothes she had rejected, she could use those and she could be under better control. Old women, on the other hand, enjoyed playing the role of a guardian. They were no use when asked to make tea or coffee or snacks. And when suddenly some guests arrived, they failed to be agile, very active. They could not, you know, supply things. They could not provide, you know, whatever they were asked to do immediately because they were old people. So because of that, a young girl was more suitable. She found this woman uh, an ideal one, the right one, right choice. She was young both in age and appearance. She looked very young. When Ramula asked her what she could do for her, the letter surprised her by asking the question, Madam, What do you want me to do for you? Why should I tell you what I can do? You tell me what you want from me. Ramola said that she had to cook, wash, clean the rooms, wash the dishes, prepare tea and snacks. These were the normal things that were expected of her. In return, she would get good food, live in a cleaner place, in a flat, received 50 rupees a month. There was another condition. Ramala said she wanted absolute cleanliness in everything. This woman was found saying, so when Ramala asks, can you do all these, whatever I have asked you? That lady was found saying, try me, try me. If you are not satisfied, you can throw me out anytime. If you don't like me, if you don't like my work, you can fire me. Ramula found this lady a little bit audacious and insolent. Insolent is somebody who answers back, who is a little proud and haughty, behaves in a superior way. When Ramula asked her when she was going to join, the woman said, okay, right now, I am going to join immediately. She was a resident of a place called Dhalbhum, Dhalbhum, D-H-A-L-B-H-U-M. Ramola told her that if she was going to join immediately, then she, she would have to miss her office that day. As she had not taken her breakfast till then. Then that woman asks her to have Breakfast? No, no. Why should you? Why should you stop going to office? Have your breakfast. Go to office, and don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. She further said that poor people. Like, Acha, then uh, Ramola says, okay, if I eat all this and go to office, what would you eat? And she says, 
poor people like me, madam, can forego a meal once in a while. No problem. I can manage without a meal because I am a poor man. You know, she, so, she, she was, she knew how to talk cleverly. So, all these made Ramola a little suspicious. Then, uh, that Ramola further says that she would have to miss office. As she had to stay back and explain every detail of things to her. In response, Pahari says that it don't take long to learn the details. Everything must be there in the flat. So, she says, okay, I will cook. I will manage myself. Don't worry. In response, Pahari, in, you know, that woman says that it don't take much time to learn the details. Everything must be there in that kitchen. So, I will manage. So, Ramula understood, okay, this young lady seems very smart, but inside she was growing, she must be growing a little suspicious and a little angry. How she is, look how she is talking. This is her first day and this is how she is talking to me. So, her smartness and poise eat Ramula. She became a little angry. She said how she expected her to leave for office, leaving behind everything at her disposal. So, you are new. I even don't know you. You came some 10, 15 minutes ago and you say leave the uh, leave, leave your home at my disposal. I am there to take care of everything. So, if you run away, what would happen? Ramola thought that the woman would feel a little offended by what she had told. She might say, you suspected me, you grew suspicious, you thought I was a thief. Right. Surprisingly, she stayed back and laughed gently and said, Mom, if I have to run away, I can run away any day. That I could do tomorrow or the day after. You won't be here to keep a watch on me every day. Will you, will you stop going to office to keep a watch on me? So I can run away. If run away was the only thing that I was going to do, I could do it any day. So you won't be, you won't be there absenting uh, from office and you won't be keeping a watch on me every day. Ramola thought of rejecting this woman right away as she was extremely smart. And Ramola thought, Ramola felt as if she was losing out to her argument in arguments. Are she is becoming the winner. I am losing out. She is arguing things in a better way. So what will I do? Either this lady is very smart or she is a thief. Okay. She thought that if, if she turns her out, then it would be, it would mean once again returning to the task of preparing her own meal, preparing her breakfast, then you know, managing with bread and milk at night, engaging with a myriad household chores, household activities, a number of large number of everything she had to manage. So she stopped herself. She thought, thought that if she did not like the woman's work, she could turn her out any time. Okay, let me, let me uh, test her. If I am not happy with her work, I would throw her out any day. Now that she was so outspoken, she might not be, th might not be a thief. So at times she is convincing herself that there might not be anything wrong with this woman. She might be very simple. She might be true. But at the same time, there was an element of what other moments, you know, this element of doubt was eating her. Either she is an honest woman or she is a cunning wretch. Cunning is, you know, clever. Clever in a negative way. Chatur, either she is a very honest woman or she is a cunning wretch. When Ramola sat down to eat her breakfast, 
This woman immediately fried some. She went to the uh, kitchen, asked a few things: where is salt? Where is turmeric powder? So she immediately fried some potatoes and served it hot to her. Immediately she cooked something, fried something, and served it hot. So Ramala was impressed. Ah, the calm ki cheese hai badi. Ramala marked that the vermilion mark. Was there in the parting of the woman's forehead? This meant that she must be encumbered. Encumbered means means she must have responsibilities. She must be having a husband. She must be having children. She must be having a home to take care of. Responsibilities must be there. She asked Ramola, you know. After the breakfast was over, Ramola was ready to leave for office. This lady asked her, "Why don't you lock the door from outside? While you go to office, you can lock the door. So my work will be inside the house. I won't need to go out. So if your friends find the front door locked, they won't disturb me. This way, no one will disturb me. So please do it and." Thirdly, I won't be able to run away with your things if you if you lock the front door from outside. How can I go? How can I run away? So Ramola, in the meantime, uh, was busy making some guesses about this woman. She was now certain that this woman must be having her husband. Must she must have fled away, run away from her husband? Throughout the day in the office. She kept thinking about this woman, so she found it found this woman a little difficult to understand. What kind of a lady she is, right? So smart. How can be? How can a domestic help be so smart, so well dressed, so nice, so strong in arguments? So she would have felt secure. You know, at times she is telling herself. Ramola is telling herself. कोई बूढ़ी औरत अगर होती तो आई वुड हैविन मोर कंफर्टेबल दिस वन सीम्स आई लिटिल कॉर्निंग आई डोंट नो व्हाट सी इज गोइंग टू डू सो यू नो दिस चैप्टर थ्रोज लाइट ऑन रोमोलास स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ कैरेक्टर एट द सेम टाइम वी गेट मोर इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट दिस लेडी and uh, this lady introduces herself as pahari p a h a r i that i am my name is pahari ha huh? so in the next chapter in chapter 15 we shall find out more about how things go okay thank you very much namaskar